Okay, I'm back. And I got my hairy ass lip wax. My eyebrows look okay. They're thin as fuck anyways, you know what I mean? So they, them girls struggle to give them any shape at all. But God knows I can't do it. Left my own damn devices. I look like a 90s supermodel with like one line of hair. <laughs> anyways, so when I went in there and you know, they, they were done doing all the pedicures and stuff. So they were able to get me waxed. And I went back there and I was like, hey, what's up with the Starbucks not being open for like two days in a row? And she was like, no, it's been longer than that. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, it's been like all week. Apparently there's like a, a boil order for this side of uh, my town because I don't have it on my side of town. I looked it up, it was for like this part of the highway, like up. So what a trip. I thought they just couldn't get workers to like show up or like, um, or maybe like their freezers quit or something like that. I thought it was something like mechanical or people wise, you know, but I think it's because they can't make coffee because like all of our water's all fucked up. Now they're trying to kill us with the water supply, you guys. God, uh, can they take a fucking break from trying to kill us for five seconds? Shit. It's just fake outrage, you guys. I'm not even really upset, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My lip is burning right now. It's on fire. It's about 15 bucks to get your eyebrows waxed and your lip waxed if you're not, if you don't do that sort of thing. If you don't get your eyebrows waxed and your lip waxed and you're 30 years old or older, then you should look into doing that shit because you most definitely have a mustache and everyone is being far too kind and not told you about your mustache <laughs> but you got one you got one sister so you better take care of it you can nair it you can shave it you can do it however you want to but you got a mustache i can't use nair because nair is like i have super duper sensitive skin and nair irritates the shit out of me like i can't even use it on my legs and i think it smells really disgusting why does my car sound like that so uh, i just did a plant shopping video so if you guys don't um watch my houseplant videos go over and check me out at heart shape leaves i'm pretty sure that everybody watching these videos is spillover from there but just in case check it out links in the description down below and um i think my video for today is just going to be like this you know just kind of like maybe you guys can go a couple places with me i think i'm gonna go back to the house slap on like a teeny little teeny bit of makeup because it helps my confidence level i kind of feel like the undead i know i'm breaking out i got some breakout areas around my lips and shit because lips on my period mm, lovely pa those are gifts those are little party gifts when you you know are about to have your period <sighs> but anyways I want to go home, do that, uh, fill my water up, keep my coffee up. I may finish, uh, my, I was good. You know what? Um, I was going to go live this morning on Rachel's so-called life for like Friday morning coffee. And I thought, you know what? Number one, no one's going to show up because I don't have, I don't have as many subscribers on this channel. And number two, if I was to go live, it would make more sense to go live on heart shaped leaves, right? Than to go live over here because just probably because more people would see it, more people would be able to participate. But I also feel like I'm not bringing the content if all I'm doing is chilling and having a cup of coffee over there. Like I feel like I should be bringing more with the plant stuff, you know? I have a. I get writer's block or creativity block a lot when it comes to my other channel because I feel, I know it's not the truth, but I feel like I have said everything like a billion times over. And I, and it doesn't matter how interested I am in houseplants if I feel like a broken record anyways. Like it wouldn't, like I don't say the same shit to Casey over and over and over again. You know, he's not just sitting there listening to me say the same things over and over again. And I feel like that's what I'm doing on my channel sometimes. So it like, 
It doesn't stop me from making content, but it definitely slows me down. You know what I mean? Shopping is one thing because I always feel like it's going to be a different experience when you go shopping. But I was going shopping either way when I made that video. But making videos at home, it feels like you're saying the same thing over and over again. And that's why I love doing like material over here on my lifestyle channel because it doesn't have to be about anything. It doesn't have to be about the gym. It doesn't have to be about healthy eating. It doesn't have to be about makeup. It doesn't have to be about vlogging. It can be about whatever I want it to be. And that's why I like this channel so much. It's like a creative outlet where um, my houseplant channel, it's like if I made a video where I was vlogging over there, no one would really watch it because as much as people say, we love you and we'll watch you do anything, it's, it's really not true. Most people are there because they wanna see your plants. They wanna see your plant collections. They wanna see, you know, and all that stuff. So. It makes perfect sense. I'm not mad at anybody about it. I'm happy that I have this channel. I'm happy that you guys are here chilling with me because all the people who like really like me from Heart Shaped Leaves have come over here to watch me do just like whatever. Like when people do comment and say that, you guys are those people. The people watching these videos are those people. So, I don't know. It's just way better for me in case he was like, what was the last video I put out? I can't even remember. But Casey asked me, he was like, what does it feel like only getting like 300 views on a video? And I go, I don't even care. Like it doesn't even bother me because I guess I so, I so vividly remember getting those kind of views on my other channel and just not giving a shit. Because I never thought Heart, my other channel, Heart Shade Loose, was going to get as big as it got. I never thought that. Like, and it's been several years. It's not like it happened overnight. And a lot of it I owe to my homegirl, Harley G, who shouted me out. Her houseplant channel, um, Harley G. All you got to do is look her up. Uh, she gave me a shout out. And I think I grew like, I exploded in growth after that. I mean, eternally grateful for her doing that for me. I mean, out of the kindness of her own heart. Indeed, she's she's a real one, a real house plant, real one. I love her to death, and we don't even talk a whole whole bunch. You know what I mean? It's just like we just kind of talk here and there. But look, when you're a grown ass woman and you got kids and stuff, people really don't, I don't really have I don't have time, and she don't have time. We don't have time. But I like to reach out and touch her, you know, and just be like, mm, you know, and just make sure she's out there and still kicking. Do you see how close this person is on my tailgate right now? I don't need a ticket. We're in a regression. Um, but besides all that, 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 that does create a lot of pressure, like having more subs over there and stuff. So you just want to do well. Videos, you know, I don't know. I'm not even making sense at this point. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. I've also lost a pair of Casey's pants. You guys don't give any craps about this stuff. I'm just gonna, I literally don't talk to anybody throughout the day. I don't. You guys are the only ones that I talk to. Legitimately, you're the only ones that I talk to. So I've gotta tell you about it. I've lost Casey's, I don't know if I've lost them. I think he's lost them, if you want me to be real about it. He bought these black pants. He's been losing a lot of weight. You guys know he's looking fine as hell and his butt's all cute and stuff and he's looking really thin. Anyway, so he's got these like tight, tighter pants or whatever. He's been buying a lot of these tighter pants for work, you know? It's looking all slim and trim. So he's got black, gray, khaki, tweed, and all this stuff. I can't find the black pants. Not the dirty clothes. They're not in the washing machine. They're not on the floor. They're not on the back of his chair. I mean, I have looked everywhere for these freaking black pants and I'm like, where are your black pants? Are you taking your shit off somewhere? Are you putting on a Chippendales show and I'm not aware of it somewhere? Where are these black pants? So, I've lost a pair of pants. What else is going on today? I think one of my dogs is a shit eater. Let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you about that. So, oh my God. So, turds are disappearing. Let me tell you. Lilu, I have trained Lilu. She's a six pound dog. She's tiny. Okay. And the summer's been really brutal. So I've taken to training her with potty pad and she's kind of always 
gone to it, you know. I never let her be in Gen Pop when she was really small because I didn't want her to get crushed by all the other dogs. So she always had a playpen area with access to potty pads. So she's used to using her potty pads. And I think they like put scent in them or something that makes them more attractive to dogs. Anyways, I love the fact that she uses potty pads because sometimes you just can't go outside. It's been 104 degrees, like steady for, I, I feel like two months. So it's been a long time and she just uses the potty pads. It's awesome. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. I have a potty pad in my washer and dryer room, okay? Which I just need to show you guys my washer and dryer. I hinted that I would when I was shopping for plants, but I need to show you guys. I just got a new one. My other one's finally quit, like after a decade. So there's a there was a turd in the laundry room. A teeny little turd, okay? It's a Lilu turd. It's like a Tootsie Roll, tiny, in the laundry room, okay? I saw it. I looked, I have a roll of um, poop bags sitting on top of the washer and dryer. So when she makes a little Tootsie Roll, I pick up her little Tootsie Roll and toss it. If she pees on enough spots, you know, then I'll go ahead and get rid of the pad. Long story short, there was a turd and then it just disappeared. That's alarming for multiple reasons. <laughs> Mostly because no one's helping me pick up turds, okay? Casey didn't pick it up. My boys definitely didn't pick it up. So where did the turd go? And that's not the first time that it's happened. This is like probably the fourth or fifth time that it's happened. Now, it's super gross to think who's doing what with the turds. Now, I know that the dogs aren't picking them up and putting them in their back pocket. Okay, they're eating the turds. Somebody's eating Lilu's shit. Now, is it Lilu or is it one of the other dogs that's coming up behind her and like cleaning up her mess? Now, I'm inclined to think that it's Lilu eating her own turds. Here's why. Here's here's why. Here's my hypothesis. I've never seen any of the other dogs. Okay. Okay. Winston eats cat shit. <laughs> if Winston is given the opportunity, he will eat cat turds. So I guess that does make him a shit eater, okay? But I've never seen him eat a dog turd. I've seen him sniff many a dog turds, but never eat one. So this whole time, he's never eaten one of his own turds or anything. So I don't know what's going on, but uh, you know, short of setting up like a, um, a hidden camera, where the pee pads are like I don't know how to either way if I see a little tootsie roll I have to pick it up like right away like right away like as soon as I see it like make sure almost like a dust pile you know like don't step in that don't step in that don't step in that I want to go get it because I cannot stand the thought of Lilu eating her own stuff like how like, how often is she doing that? Like, if she if she's the culprit and she's human centipeding herself, like, what am I supposed to do with that? If you guys have any experience with your dog also being a disgusting little shit eater, let me know down in the comments below and give me some solutions. Like, I don't know. Like, how do you make shit taste worse than shit? <laughs> It, yeah, and like how am I ever supposed to kiss my dog again? Because I all I can think about is like her doing that. Ew, gross, disgusting. Anyways, now that we're all scarred for life, I hope that you still I hope you're still watching this video. And if for some crazy reason you are still watching it, I love you. And I think I'm actually gonna end it here. I've done way too much rambling. All I wanna do for the rest of the day is I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm going to go in and put some lip gloss on, run to the gym, do about 30 minutes, and then go in and edit some footage. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Later, taters. Bye. Okay, so really quick before I close out this, like, what, I'm sorry. This is, like, random footage from, like, me driving home before I injured my thumb. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram at Heart Shape Leaves. 
I didn't even post it when it happened, but I bonked my thumb really bad. It made pretty much like going to the bathroom hard <laughs> and editing, almost impossible using a mouse. So I'm finally able to like use my thumb again. And this is just like random footage, so bear with me. It's from when I went and tried stuff on at a, a local shop called Trinkets here at my local mall. And funny story about this shirt, hold on. So I went to the sales associate lady and I said, hey, could you tie this crochet top for me? Because I don't want to get it in a knot. I have these long nails and I can't really tie real well and I don't want to get it in a knot. Can you tie it in a bow for me? She tied it in a knot. This is literally a picture of the knot. I had to go stand outside the dress. And I said, ma'am, I'm trying not to panic, but I feel like maybe there's a knot back there where you tied it. And she goes, oh my gosh, I did tie it in a knot. And I was like, why, why would you do that? And I had to eventually, I was sweating. Oh my God, all I wanted to do was try on some cute clothes. You know what I mean? I was sweating. I had to pull it off like a dog getting out of like a doggy door. It was terrible. I mean, anyways, 10 out of 10, like super cute top. Okay, I didn't buy it. I was traumatized by it, but yeah, and these pants, I got the next size up. So these were hugging my cooter a little too much. So I got I like the next size up, I think, I think it was like a 27, but I went ahead and like committed because I thought those jeans were so freaking cute. So I went out and got like a bigger size. The crochet top was okay. Like I said, I got trapped in it, so zero out of 10. I didn't even try on that dress right there. There were so many people waiting for a dressing room that day. I felt wicked bad. So I just left. I'm terrible. I bought that top in that cream color. And I also got it in like a burnt orange color. That was still, I think those were like the new, uh, bigger jeans that I liked more. I hated this hairstyle that day. I thought it was cute when I left the house, but by the time I got here, I was like, fuck no, I hate this. Anyways, this top was super duper cute, but if you, any false moves and the tits would totally come out. This is when I had the two small jeans on. You can tell the difference, but the top was super cute. I loved everything about it, but I just, the risk, there was just too much risk involved and I don't want to tape up my boobs with every top I wear. The cream top that I got behind uh, us, it actually doubles as a bra. So that's why I got it in two different colors. I loved it. This dress, okay, hang on. This dress was so gorgeous on the rack and the idea of it was so beautiful and the color so beautiful, but it couldn't have been any more unflattering on my tummy area. Look at that. It made me look like three months pregnant. I couldn't believe it. It was called, the dress was called something t iconic too. It was like the Ilana dress or something, Ilana. I can't even remember, but I wanted it to make me look good so bad. And it was really unflattering on the titties also. But yeah, it was really cute. I didn't buy it, obviously. If it would have been like 15 bucks, I might have like gambled on it. But it was like 90 bucks. So I was like, no, girl. No, girl. No. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm sorry about like the randomness of these clips. But like I said, I hurt my thumb. And I want to use every single freaking clip that I ever take because I struggle to get the content out. So, and I was on a really good roll before I bonked my thumb really hard. You can see these are my old, my older set of like really super long. Uh, these are the 10 XLs pastel set that I had right before this black set of nails. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed today's random smattering of footage, like the drive home and then like trying on some clothes. Let me, let me know if you guys really liked this clothing like try on because I could totally do more of this. We could go to like Route 21 or like all the traditional places in my local mall and we could like try on some clothes and stuff like that. But I don't know what you guys like to see more. Um, the next video that I have uh, footage for is a full leg. Oh shit, I hit my mic. There's a full leg day video with uh, Cletus and I. So that will be up next. And then, um, I can't remember what I have filmed, but I have something else filmed for you guys. So anyways, stay tuned. I love you guys. Peace out. Have a great day. Be fabulous. Bye.